Hey everybody, it's Paul Stratu. too. Welcome back to the garage. Um, I wanted to take a second and explain something here about using um, piston rings to clean the grooves on pistons. Now, I don't know that these are all that dirty, but I think that they may be. I think that's what you see right there. I don't think that those are ported. <laughs> Anyways. Nope. Anyway, so I think that's those black spots that you see are carbon buildup on there. Okay, so what I'm going to do is show you, um, I, I just took, this is just a piston I had off the shelf, but um, what we're going to do is we're going to take this bad boy, and I've got one of the piston rings here, and this is just a full piston ring. What we're going to do is break that, and I want to show you how well this works to clean, and why it works too, to clean the the uh, the grooves on a piston okay um, that hold the you know where the lands are um, why that works so well so um, uh, this is what we're gonna do let me get set up with stuff and uh, we'll get rolling on this okay so I got things set up here and here's the ring and what we want to do is just break it okay it's just broke now let's see if I can focus in here on this when you look at this when you look at this look at it it broke fairly much straight across and this edge right here is very well it's not very sharp but it's sharp enough to dig out the the, the stuff that's in there okay um, you could possibly use this is the this is the gap side not the broken side um, you could use that too um, I prefer to use this side however uh, the great the there's several things about this I want to tell you that's that's uh, rings true first of all used piston rings you're not going to use them again in most cases probably about 98 percent of the time you're not going to reuse the rings unless you're going uber cheap uh, but uh, so this is free okay for all intents and purposes this is free because that's what you got okay the second thing about it, so it's cheap um, the second thing is it works really well third thing is is it fits directly down into that you're into your groove here without an issue okay fourth thing is it's tough um, and uh, uh, fifth thing is is you got plenty of these if it if this one you know it wears down this edge on here go grab another one or better yet you can break this one in half or hey I got two halves that'll work too so you can see in there that the that uh, there's that, I don't know if you, you can see, but you see those black marks. That's carbon in there, and we want to get rid of that. So what am I going to do? I'm just going to put the ring, the face of the ring down in there, and just grip it in there. Okay? You can go both ways. Okay? Now, look at this. This is just a, ooh, ooh, where are we at? There we are. This is just, you know, a couple of seconds worth of grabbing on that. And look, it, it digs it out so readily. It, it's just, it's a no-brainer to just use these things. And you're, if you're in your solvent tank and working this thing, um, you, can, you can instantly wash that off. You just rub it back and forth along there. Gets rid of all that carbon, okay? The great thing about it fitting right in here, it will, it will clean from wall to wall on there, no problem. Uh, this is a small block Chevy 350, so it's a four inch bore. Um, both the top and the, the mid um, and the second ring are both the same size. Now this is this is a little bit uh, wider here on the than what this is obviously, but it still works in there and it's still you can see it still scratches. There. There's one more thing you don't want to use pointy objects in here because that's going to scratch up. That's going to scratch it up so that it will have grooves in it. You don't want that, okay? Uh, like an uh, like an awl or something like that just doesn't work very well so anyways that is my tech uh, tech video it's just a short little one but I wanted to show you why and how that you use these bad boys in here hey maybe I can go do this backwards maybe so yep see it works really well I got bunch of creds sitting out here in the thing anyways i thought i'd show you guys i uh, hope everybody is having a great time and uh with that i'll say be well